The U.S. is expected to announce as early as next week that coalition forces have reclaimed all of the territory once held by ISIS. As Charlie Daggett continues his reporting from inside Syria tonight, we see ISIS fighters and their families on the run. They were lured by the dream of a utopian Islamic state. Now they're eating American-made rations and living out of a hole in the ground. This is essentially a holding area until these families can be moved on to camps. But there's a good reason it's in the middle of a barren wasteland. Anybody approaching can be seen from miles away. ISIS militants have been caught sneaking out with their families and protesting their innocence. The men are separated from the women and children and interrogated. Were you an ISIS fighter? No. No, Hassan no. Salah told us, but insisting yeah. he only sold sweets. So what did you do? This man said he was a simple food seller. You don't look very well. Are you sick? Were you injured in fighting? No. No, I was tortured by ISIS for texting my uncle, Amar Ahmed told us. It's hard to know who's telling the truth. Now, we're under strict instructions not to point our camera in that direction. But around 100 yards away, we found U.S. and coalition special forces who are part of the vital process to weed out and take away any ISIS suspects. In the last two weeks, they fled by the thousands as American forces and allies here tighten the noose on the last pocket of ISIS territory. Her husband killed in an airstrike. One woman told us she had nothing to feed her three children but grass. But she brought her family here from Iraq willingly and stuck with ISIS until the very end. The only truly blameless among those here are the children, born under ISIS through no fault of their own. Charlie Daggett of CBS News, Eastern Syria.